we will discuss few more disorders and some important things in this segment. There is a disorder which is known as rheumatic heart disease, commonly known as RHD. Now, this is actually a defect in the valves. But this defect is not genetic or not because of the improper formation of the structure. It is due to a toxin which is produced by streptococcus. So defect, defect in the wall due to toxin produced by streptococcus bacteria. So if anyone or any person suffers from this rheumatic fever, then when the streptococcus is there in our body, it produces a toxin and this toxin is capable of damaging the wall and that results into rheumatic heart disease. Now, blue baby, uh, it can also be termed as blue baby syndrome. Basically, if there is mixing of blood, then the mixed blood would be supplied to the body and we know that pure oxygenated blood is bright red and deoxygenated blood is bluish red. So the baby's body appears bluish and what is that condition when mixing of blood would take place? One condition is if there is an opening in the interauricular septum which we call foramen ovale which at the time of birth changes, the depression of which is known as fossa ovalis. But in case, if that opening remains even after birth. So this is known as, or this is caused due to septal defect. And which septum uh, is defective? It is interauricular septum. Or in other words, we can write that if foramen ovale remains open or doesn't close. Foramen ovale does not close. So in that case, the oxygenated blood which is received in the left auricle and the deoxygenated blood which is received in the right auricle. They get mixed and both the ventricles are going to get this mixed blood there. So when mixing takes place, the left ventricle, when it pumps the blood to the body parts through aorta, the blood which is going is mixed blood and that results into a bluish tinge on the body of the baby and that is why it is known as a blue baby syndrome. Cardiomegaly is a term given to enlarged heart. So when there is enlargement, enlargement of heart. So these are certain uh, disorders which are associated with heart. Now let us talk about these terms and few scientists and their contribution. Dextrocardia is a very unique uh, condition. We have studied that our heart is located in the thoracic cavity slightly on the left side and there is a depression in the left, left lung which is called cardiac notch. So the heart is fitted into that depression on the left hand side. In dextrocardia, the heart is on the right side. So this is again a very unique uh, situation. Uh, we may not call it a disorder, it is just a condition. So the heart on the right side instead of the regular left hand side. Next term is thrombus. Thrombus term is given to clot but if the clot is static that means wherever the clot is formed it remains there. Then that is known as thrombus or we can also call it static clot. Embolus is the term which is given to mobile or moving clot. So moving clot is known as 
embolus. It is also known as thromboembolus. Thromboembolus. So if the clot is small and it detaches from the place where it was formed, it keeps moving in the circulation, then that is known as embolus. Now, we nowadays keep hearing about heart transplants. These are becoming more common these days. But the first heart transplant, successful heart transplant, was performed by Dr. Christian Bernard. in the year 1967. So this was the first successful heart transplant. Before that also attempts were made but they did not result into that much of success. The first heart transplant in India was performed by Dr. Venu Gopal in the year 1994. Again, this was the first successful one. And William Harvey has given us the complete uh, mechanism and the process of circulation. So he described the blood circulation. So what we know about how circulation takes place, that was given to us by William Harvey. So these are certain interesting things which are associated with heart and the circulatory system and all the disorders. So now we know the working of the heart, structure of heart, conducting system, everything. Plus we have also understood the disorders related with the heart and these are certain important.